Behind me, I've got three disc repair machines. Economy entry level, mid-level, and like premium consumer. Not the highest level. The highest level is like $25,000. Uh, but this one is several thousand dollars. And I think if you have a resale business, you're very curious about how to repair discs, be it DVDs, CDs, or video games. Uh, and you're wondering, which one should I buy? And while I'm not going to tell you which one to buy, because it's your own decision, I will outline the pros and cons of these three machines, and then you can figure out how it fits your business. What you're looking at is three disc repair machines of varying price and quality. On my far left, the JFJ Easy Pro. On my far right, the ELM Eco Pro. In the middle, this is an ELM Auto Smart. Cheapest, around 100, 125. Mid-range, around 1,000. High-end, several thousands of dollars. You can get them refurbished, so contact the manufacturer to see what the price is. Uh, you can also do trade-ins of lower quality machines. So let's go over the pros and cons of the three of these because there are pros and cons to each. Now the JFJ Easy Pro, the pros and cons of this are, well, we'll do the pros first. The pros, very cheap. The cons, very dirty, very messy, overheats, warps discs, lots of moving parts. This is the uh, part of the process is you have a sanding pad then you have a buffing pad and you have to spray compound on them. Uh, and sometimes the sanding pad peels up and creates very bad wear patterns on your discs that destroy them. Uh, it can't be used on Blu-ray, it says it can, it just destroys Blu-ray discs. I don't know why they say, maybe it cleans them with just a buffing pad. Uh, and then on these black bass, black back PlayStation discs, uh, they do not work either. They're just a more brittle, more hard plastic. I would say good for beginners. If you're doing like 50 discs a month, maybe that makes sense. Um, there's always a chance you're going to overheat and destroy the disc. But given it's so cheap, I understand why people buy that as their first foray into disc repair. On a side note... If you have a resale business, you have to have one of these machines. Uh, there's just so many discs you're going to buy in lots or individually or thrift stores or garage sales or wherever that are damaged that uh, you're going to have to repair them at some point. And we have the ELM Eco Pro. So this machine uh, is like the mid-range out of these three. Uh, I've used this for about 4,000 discs. Several parts have broken. Like this is the lever that opens it that broke off. This is some kind of mechanism that lifts the top. That's broken off. But these, uh, this, whatever, still works. And these pads, they're interchangeable. They're Velcro. Um, so that all works. Uh, the compound is stored in a little caddy in back. And there's also uh, a place for distilled water in back. This still can destroy discs. Uh, it's not cooled the same way this machine is cooled and so if a disc gets too hot it can warp and be destroyed uh, but you're not going to have the really awkward wear patterns like you will on the jfj easy pro so the pros of this it's relatively affordable you can get supplies relatively easily uh, and it's got a small footprint so it can fit you know you see how small it is compared to the other machines cons you see this little slot right here that's for a minute card you have to pay to use the machine you already bought. Uh, and that really rubs some people the wrong way. It still ends up being about 30 cents a disc to repair it, which is about the same cost as this, uh, given that most discs require several cycles. I think they advertise this as being like eight cents per repair, but very few discs only need a 30 second repair. Uh, the compound you can buy is pretty cheap. I think this is the OEM compound. Uh, there's also a water conditioner they recommend you buy for this one. Um, it ends up being a significant cost, but uh, if you're buying the right kinds of discs, it's, you know, marginal. Finally, we have the ELM AutoSmart. So there is a more expensive machine called the ELM Master, and you can do 50 discs at a time. It has a caddy you load them into. This repairs one disc at a time, but unlike these two machines where you have to manually switch out the sanding pad, or in this case, it just has one sanding pad that just works until it's full of gunk, 
This has four different sanding pads, five if you count the Blu-ray pad. On a side note again, this does advertise as being able to repair Blu-ray discs, but it doesn't do a very good job. This repairs probably half the Blu-ray discs I have, uh, and that includes PS3 games. But for the most part, because Blu-ray discs are so much harder, you're not gonna have a lot of problems uh, when you buy those in bulk. Um, how this works basically is you I've got my water in back right there it goes through that tube you can see and then goes up into the machine there's a, a similar compound caddy in back as well and that spits out stuff right there through those two holes onto the disc uh, it then uses these polishing pads and buffing pads to wear off the top layer of the disc and it drains through that hole down there. Now you see all that powder? That's the biggest con with this machine, is that powder can clog up this drain pipe and it ends up overflowing and flooding your desk area because this just gets backed up all the way. Uh, the larger footprint is kind of annoying. Um, the maintenance of changing these discs is kind of annoying. But the really only complaint I have in this design is that uh, I guess what I should just do then is just like tape this to the top of the jug I have. Uh, but it does seem to overflow if I get busy and I'm, you know, listing all my things throughout the day and I'm refinishing discs and I don't think to pull up the bottom of this tube and it overflows and it's kind of a mess. Is that worth it? Absolutely. The, um, the quality of repair, that's a little bit of dust there, ignore that. The quality of repair is so high. This disc used to be like this. And after three or four minutes on this machine, uh, it absolutely fixed it. It's a mirror finish. It's gonna work. Uh, you've got more options on disc repair. This is just like a light buff. That's a light sand, a moderate sand, medium heavy and super heavy. But you can run super heavy several times on the same disc. And because it's water cooled like that, it's not gonna overheat and warp the disc the same way this would, or certainly the JFJ Easy Pro would. These get very hot. You have to let them cool off sometimes. This is a workhorse. It can just go for hours and hours and hours without any issue. Uh, in terms of cost, you know, your budget is your budget. Maybe you only have a thousand bucks and all you can buy is this. If you can afford this and you're doing several thousand discs a month, I definitely think this is a good investment. I love it. Uh, I've done about 300 discs so far on this. Uh, and although it is a little bit slower, just because of all the different steps it has to take, I am very satisfied, a very happy customer. Uh, and I can't recommend any other machine because I haven't used them, but certainly I'm um, satisfied with the results this produces. That's the video guys, thanks for watching. If you are new, subscribe. Everyone give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions about any of these three machines, I'd love to answer them below in the comments.